Hi guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I saw this news today, and I just can't believe what this company is doing. Shoe retailer DSW to sell Green Growth brand CBD products. So, Green Growth Brands just keeps doing it. Green Growth Brands provides Green Growth Brands with access to DSW's massive footwear and accessory retail footprint. Green Growth Brands under the symbol GGB on the CSE, the Canadian Securities, Securities Exchange, GGBXF in America on the OTCQB, GGB or the company today announced an agreement, otherwise known as the agreement, with DSW Inc. DSW on the New York Stock Exchange. Wow, DSW, really? Let's take a look at that. On the New York Stock Exchange? Really? DSW. DSW. Let's check out DSW. Who is DSW? $26 stock. Interesting. 1.5 million shares. Okay, okay. That's interesting. And this news is everywhere. And look at this. Green growth inches closer to Afria bid price on DSW deal. And it's interesting. The stock went up based on the fact that they did this deal and the news came out again. And remember, in order for their deal to be considered a real offer, they have to be at $7 and they're currently at five sixty. So they're getting closer to that number. And I remember when I told people that this would happen and people were, people doubted whether or not they could get to that valuation. Here it is. Green Growth Brands Inc. shares hit a record high Thursday after the cannabis company announced a partnership with shoe retailer DSW Inc. bringing the stock a bit closer to the valuation needed to proceed with its hostile bid for Afria Inc. There it is. The stock rose as much as 10% to 5.89 or 19% below the $9 valuation on which Green Growth based its $2.8 billion offer for Afria. Green Growth said it would sell hemp-derived cannabinoidal or CBD foot creams, muscle balms, body lotions, and body washes at 96 DSW stores throughout the United States. Wow, that's big. That's big. 96 stores. Afria, based in Leamington, Ontario, has been under attack from short sellers who accused it of playing, paying inflated prices for assets held by insiders. And the offer from Green Growth raised further questions about connections between the two companies. Hinderberg Research, one of the short sellers, also questioned Green Growth's intention to complete a financing of $300 million at $7 a share to fund the takeover well above its closing price of $4.98 on the day the planned offer was announced, calling it highly irregular. Green Growth Chief Executive Officer Peter Horvat said in response that investors believe it is not a question of if Green Growth reaches $7 a share, but when. <laughs> like I said to you guys, like it's happening. DSW and Green Growth are based in Columbus, Ohio. Afria reports results pre Market Friday with a conference call at 9 a.m. New York time. Afria rose 1% to 902 in Toronto, giving it market value of 2.2 billion. Wow. And green growth attempting to acquire Afria. So let's get into this news. So they announced that they will. And they have an agreement with DSW Inc. to sell hemp-derived cannabinoidal CBD personal care products under the 7th Sense Botanical Therapy brand at select DSW stores throughout the United States. The agreement was received by Green Growth Brands yesterday, January 9th, for 54,960 units and covers sales in 96 U.S.-based DSW stores. 7th Sense brand offers high-quality CBD-infused products and affordable prices, including muscle balms, body lotions, body washes, and foot creams. The agreement follows a successful test phase conducted last autumn in which Green Growth Brands sold select 7th Sense products in 10 DSW stores. During the first 10 weeks of the test period, 74.4% of product presented on shelves was sold significantly exceeding expectations. Wow, that's impressive. These guys, 
These guys scream for the brands, eh? DSW is the number one full line adult footwear specialty retailer in North America. They have revolutionized shopping for shoes and accessories, and we are thrilled to choose. They choose to partner with our company, allowing us to introduce a new product category to their customers. This is Peter Horvath, CEO of Green Growth Brands, otherwise known as a genius. The agreement and the deepening relationship with DSW is the first step in our strategy to expand sales of personal care CBD products through external partnerships in mall kiosks and through a growing number of stores and online. DSW is a leading branded footwear and accessories retailer that operates a portfolio of several concepts. Designer Shoe Warehouse is primary concept offers a wide selection of brand name and designer dress, casual, and athletic footwear and accessories. With 515 warehouses in 44 states and an e-commerce site, DSW.com, its affiliated business group also operates 290 leased departments for other retailers in the United States. DSW is a co-investor in Town Shoes of Canada, which operates in 188 retail locations under several banners, including Town Shoes, DSW Designer, Shoe Warehouse, The Shoe Company, and Shoe Warehouse. Wow. This is insane. I mean, can you believe what this company is doing? The announcement of the agreement comes on the heels of the passage of the 2018 Farm Bill signed in, into law by President Donald Trump, which provided needed clarity regarding hemp and its ec extracts, opening the door for retail of such products. We have seen recent shifts in consumer behavior, accelerated changes in the retail industry. North America's widespread adoption of the use of CBD products is one of the best examples of these shifts. And we could not be more excited about our partnership with Green Growth Brands and the introduction of their products to our customers. This is Roger Rollins, CEO of DSW Inc. DSW Inc. is headquartered in Columbus, Ohio, and in fiscal 2017 generated U.S. $2.8 billion in net sales through its retail network comprising 10.5 million square feet of stores and approximately 12,000 associates. Wow, that is enormous. Accessories including beauty and wellness products in a growing category for DSW and will continue to be a component of its growth strategy. About green growth brands. Green Growth Brands expects to dominate the cannabis and CBD market with a portfolio of emotion-driven brands that people love, led by Peter Horvath. The GGB team is full of retail and consumer packaged goods experts with decades of experience building successful brands. Join the movement at GreenGrowthBrands.com. Let's just take a look at GreenGrowthBrands.com real quick. And remember guys, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about at Rich TV Live. We do have the winners and we have them first. You can see a lot of our picks are right here on Rich TV Live and they have been for years. And you can go to richtvlive.com. You can be a feature company. You can get exposure. You can see all the breaking news, stocks, CBDs, cryptocurrencies, sports, everything you need to know. And if you want to contact us and follow us, Go right ahead. Absolutely free. We don't want your money. We want your eyes and ears on the prize. This is big news, and you heard it here first from your boy, Rich. And we don't just bring you the news. We break it down. We analyze it. This is enormous news. This is a game changer, and this is a reason why Green Growth Brands is a beast. Okay? Let me know what you guys think. Do you love Green Growth Brands? I think it has so much potential. It continues to climb since I've been talking to you guys about it. It has been the gift that keeps on giving every day in the green, day after day. It has been just so much news, so much potential. The CEO is so aggressive in his quest to acquire Afria. And I told people that it was a very serious offer. And people said, well, they're not at the price. They need to get the $7. And I told you he will get the $7. And all he's shown is that he's very capable. And that's what he's done. I mean, look at the, the numbers don't lie, but people do. Here we are. You can see the price. We're currently at 560. And we were at, I mean, this bad boy has been just unbelievable. It was at 92 cents 
not too long ago. So here we are at 560, and you're going to doubt Peter Horvath? I wouldn't doubt this man. He has been very successful, and I believe he will continue to be. And you can see it here. I brought this to you guys at $2.99. You can see my first videos. And if you take a look on bar chart, you can see it is up 80% in the last month. And the news just keeps flowing for green growth brands. All right, guys. want to know what you think. Comment down below. Share this video everywhere. If I win and you win, we all win. It's true. Holler at your boy. What do you think? Green growth brands? Is it a winner? I sure think so. All right, everybody. I'm out. Peace. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy Rich. It's true. Peace.